A pair of bartenders in Queens created an ice cream company through a pandemic and a cancer diagnosis. Here's the story about Big Shane's ice cream. Shane Kenny is used to being behind the bar slinging drinks. But these days, he's traded in his shaker for an ice cream scooper. I'm an ice cream lover. Other than being the namesake for Big Shane's ice cream, he's also the master taster. Because he's kind of like Mikey likes it. Takes a bite and it's either disgusting or it's yes. Sarah Platez is the recipe developer. She met Shane through bartending, but is also a pastry chef. The flavors are based off Irish favorites. Honeycomb, banoffee, we use Bailey's, we use Guinness. We're gonna throw in some things with some you know, household favorites like custard creams. It all started with Shane's sweet tooth and a challenge to Sarah. I asked her one day if you could make ice cream, me being funny and cheeky. I'm like, no, totally different. I come from custom cake world. So I went home that night and I bought her an ice cream machine. I was like, you're insane. No, I don't know how to do this. She brought it into the bar and I was like, whoa, this is, this is pretty good. And then the challenge grew after a mutual friend requested margarita ice cream. That's not even a thing. That's, no. But she pulled it off, and that's when Shane realized a sweet opportunity. The pair soon found Tara Rose Cocktail Bar, where they planned to sell their homemade ice cream. Even planning a launch party in March 2020, Shane's entire family from Ireland flew in. The launch party was planned here at Tara Rose in Murray Hill. However, never happened. That's because the day it was scheduled is the day the entire city shut down due to the coronavirus. So, wow, so this is quite what the pandemic pivot, oh, I like to say, right? like, you couldn't write this story. And they couldn't predict it either. They had gallons of ice cream, started giving it away for free, until friends suggested they sell it. And at a time when no one was leaving their homes, Big Shane's ice cream delivered. We were driving around, we were doing cars, like Sunday, Monday, delivering ice cream all around Sunnyside. And then it spread like wildfire. We were doing Brooklyn, we were doing Manhattan, even the Bronx. So one week it went from handing out 20 pints to the following week we had like 150 orders. As things were taking off over the summer, Shane received some startling news. I got hit with like testicular cancer. That was kind of like a, a kick in the teeth. But Shane wasn't going to let it slow him down. Sarah was right by his side, not only as a business partner, but stepping in as his family who were more than 3,000 miles away in Ireland. It was hard just to see this, you know, really big guy kind of crumble for a minute in front of you. It was rough to watch. And all I wanted to do was be his family and help him through it. So I did. And so did the community of Sunnyside, Queens, where Shane lives. Deliveries continued during the off weeks of Shane's chemo treatments. You're in survival mode. Yeah. Here and let's get this, let's do this, let's beat this, we can do it. And that is what Shane did. So I just finished chemo actually the week of Christmas. So How do you feel? I feel bloody fantastic. Now, about a year since the launch of Shane's ice cream was canceled, a new date is on the horizon, early May. And their dreams for the company couldn't be bigger. Ultimate goal is to go to Ireland and sell something in Ireland. This is our goal to be in the fields of County Mead, milking our own cows and making ice cream when we're 80 years old, you know? <laughs> so sometimes when life hands you lemons, there is a way to turn it into something sweeter. And you can enjoy some Big Shane's ice cream at a couple of spots throughout the city, Brookside, Delhi, and Sunnyside where Shane lives. Also, you can head to his Instagram, Big Shane's Ice Cream. Check it out.